Welcome back once again to HowToCookWithFood.com. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're gonna to make a fantastic cauliflower curry, or gobi masala, however you wanna call it. In here, I've got some oil. I'm using a sunflower oil, which is heating up nicely. You can use any oil you like, or possibly ghee. We're gonna start off by dropping in some whole garam masala. I've got the cumin seeds, mustard seeds, a few cloves, just a couple, some cardamom, and a little bit of cinnamon. So just let them do their thing. As the oil heats, they will pop and crackle and they'll infuse this oil beautifully. And as that happens, which is about right now, we're gonna add some onions. As always, I'm using a red onion. You can use white if you want. I just prefer red, I find them a little bit stronger. I'm also now gonna add some garlic ginger paste, which is a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger, fresh and chopped or minced really finely. There's about two teaspoons there. Very simply, we're gonna cook these onions for about three to four minutes. I'm on a quite a high heat, above a medium. And once that's done, we can move on with the next stage. As you can see, the onions have changed color somewhat and are softening nicely. That whole garam masala is really doing its job. Now I'm gonna add some powder spices. Here we are, equal parts, I always call them the big four. Turmeric, cumin, chili, and coriander powders. About a teaspoon each there. Of course, you could always use your favorite curry powder mix if you want. I'm now gonna drop in some salt. And here I've got some chopped tomatoes. There's about four or five medium sized tomatoes. In they go. We're gonna cover this now with a lid. I wanna cook this for about four to five minutes. I want, I want these tomatoes to break down and create our masala. We may have to add some water, depending on how juicy these tomatoes are. We're actually gonna make the gravy or the masala first and then I'm gonna add my gobi or cauliflower. There's my cauliflower there. And I've got this in quite kind of chunky parts. The reason I don't wanna put it in now is that if I cook it too much, it will just disintegrate. So let's make our masala, get it nicely cooked. Then we can add the cauliflower in, mix it, lid on, steam it away and it'll be beautiful. Let's cover that, be back in five or six minutes. Right, that was about five or six minutes. Let's take a look, let some steam out of there. As you can see, the tomatoes have broken right down. And we've got the start or the beginning of a lovely, lovely masala here. I am gonna add a little splash of water, just a bit of cold water. I've just turned the heat up as well. I'm also gonna add some coconut milk. I'm using a can of coconut milk, so in that goes. That's like 400 ml, or I think that equates to 13.5 fluid ounces. Basically a regular can. Now, no curry would be complete without some fresh green chili. Add as many or as little as you like. I'll put about three or four in there. I'm now also gonna add here some flaked 
almonds. You could use an almond powder if you want, acts the same. I just like the texture of these guys. And then simply, we're gonna drop in our chunky cauliflower or gobi. There she goes. I'm gonna give that a mix. Now we're gonna pop the lid back on. On a very high heat now. Bring that to the boil, let it boil up, and then simmer it just for about two to three minutes. Then we'll take a look. So, off goes the heat. Let's take a look. Plenty of steam's gonna come out of this. That is looking absolutely wonderful. It's come together beautifully. My cauliflower is cooked, but still got a bit of crunch to it. That's how I like it. If you want it cooked more, and cook it a little bit more. But right, check your one for salt. Mine's fine. I'm not a great salt fan. And I'm gonna finish this off now with some fresh coriander or cilantro. Give that a mix. And this really, really, I find to be a beautiful, beautiful vegetarian curry or masala. I hope you guys enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.